just going through the tender on the flying Scotsman. This is something that a lot of people don't get the chance to do, and it's something that I'm really glad I can do today. And then we're out into the coaches. side there see this control yeah. that determines whether you're going to go forward or backwards we won't be moving it but in oh. principle no 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 no, no. <laughs> just contain yourself not even if i gave you 50 quid not even if you gave me 50 quid you turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise and this scale here currently says we're in mid-gear like neutral on a car yeah can you see that yeah so if you turn it all the way to full back we'll be going that way right at the bottom of the scale and we'll be going forward. So that's the direction how we're going to go. This is the accelerator, if you like, the regulator. The more you pull it out, and no, you're not going to pull it out either. No. <laughs> the more you pull it out, the faster we would go. Now, what you're actually doing there is releasing the steam. This gauge up here is showing that currently we've got 200 pounds per square inch of steam in the boiler. So a square inch is sort of that size. So there's 200 pounds trying to come out. When you pull the regulator towards you, you allow a quantity of that steam down to the cylinders. And it would show on this gauge how much steam you're letting down. You wouldn't let all 200 down because the wheels would just spin like that. You just gently open it like you would on a car to accelerate away nice and smoothly. So, we know how we're going to go forward, we know we're going to get faster and faster. What we need to know now is how to stop the locomotive, and that's the art. Because you know where you want to stop, you've got to start braking before. If we were light engine, which means we have no coaches behind us, we would use this brake, because that works on the engine only. Yep, can you see how my shoulder all right? So that one would be light engine. When we have the stop behind us, be it coaches or a freight train, it's vacuum fitted or air fitted, you would be using this brake. So that's the braking system that you use on the locomotive. So to recap, direction change, accelerator, braking system. The big one that you have to know is this one. What's that? Is that the whistle? It is the whistle. You always blow the whistle or sound the horn before you move to tell the world you're going to move. You have a good look out, make sure nobody's near you, and then you go through the routine to move. So if we now come to the fireman's side, you've sat in the seat far too long as a fireman, you wouldn't sit that long in the seat no, you'd be up. You'd be up doing something. You'd either be putting coal from the tender here in through there yep. to maintain the fire, and that's a very cool fire at the minute. If it was working hard, that would be incandescent white. So you're looking after the fire, keeping it covered, keeping it generating the steam that we want. But also, you've got to keep your eye on those two gauge glasses there. And currently, they're showing a good three quarters of water in the boiler. So you have to maintain the water in there. You have two in case one fails. So you've always got the second one to show you where you are with water. Um, but importantly, you have to watch those because the line isn't always level. So when you're going up the gradient, the water will all come back towards you and it will show as an artificially and false high reading. When you go over the top of the hill, of course, the water will all run to the front and that will show an artificially but dangerous low reading. Because up in the roof of the firebox are what are called fusible plugs. They're like bolts with the middle drilled out full of lead. And if the water runs off the fusible plugs on the top of the firebox, you've got about 20 seconds, the book says, before that lead melts and it starts to let steam and water in to begin the act of putting the fire out. So the fireman's job is to maintain the fire, keep a very close eye on the water in the boiler, and to know what's coming ahead. So if in four or five miles time you're going to be going uphill, your job would be to get the fire in good order to get the pressure up as high as the driver's going to need it 
but then if you're coming into a terminal station, you don't want to be blowing off through the safety valves. So you will be running the fire down and getting the water such that you can put cold water in the boiler to take it off the boil and avoid blowing off.